to the world, uh, the, the pace of the life has changed drastically. And then uh, there are other things like uh, internet. Now, there's such a lot of data available that one really does know. And there's a lot of competition coming up because, uh, you know, there's a time that I was more of a local business person or a local uh, uh, professional. Today, you there, the whole world is in front of you and you can go to any part of the world. Next, what has come up is, uh, uh, you know, all of us have... Uh, little more disposable income compared to what it was, say, 40, 50 years back. Now, with that, what has happened is that we've started making use of the services. Our physical effort has gone down. Uh, anytime you uh, you have a guest at home, you call up McDonald's or uh, uh, pizza, burger or something and get that stuff or uh, uh, Moglai or something, is got, you've got the car to move around. Whereas good old days, we were doing it on, the, on your feet or moving around on our cycles and all. And this has affected our lifestyle a lot. Uh, coming to the, the speakers today, fortunately, we've got two very learned uh, speakers who've got a lot of experience in their field. Uh, first, we have uh, Nikhil Saab. Uh, he'll be talking on seven habits of highly effective people. Now, today, there's a lot of competition and each one wants to get ahead of the other. So he's going to tell us how to manage that and how to move ahead in life by putting equal effort in a few lines or fields or whatever be it. And the next one, of course, you know, as uh, we all feel that the lifestyle has changed so much that we need to be is a lifestyle okay or do we need to make a change? You know, you, in the morning you get up, you have your breakfast ready or you have your cereals or you have something ready made, juices are already in the pan. Then you move to the office on the car. Ranjan, sir, I will, sir, Ranjan, sir, I will again mute all. Please unmute and listen. I will request all those who are not speaking at any moment of time, please keep unmute so that disturbance should not be there. Ranjan, sir, please unmute and speak. Yeah, check yes. one. Yes. Okay. So as I'm mentioning that uh, the, the life has to be balanced between the work and your home or the uh, other life uh, activities. And that's, as I said, is the need of the R. Because lifestyle is changed very, very fast. And, uh, you know, if you have a convenience, you like to go ahead with it and forget what was happening. Like I said, car. Now, even if you have to go... Uh, a kilometer distance, you'll use your car. Office, it doesn't matter. You don't carry your lunch. You order something from outside. So the whole, the whole lifestyle has changed. Good old days, uh, all of us used to go to temples or the churches or mosques. There was a time that there were pujas at home. Now, all this is changing very, very fast. And that's what uh, uh, Sumit Madam is going to tell us how to maintain a balance between your uh, work and life. Uh, may I now request uh, Karan Saab, uh, and before that, Anuja to uh, take over and introduce the speakers. Over to Anuja. Anuja ji, please. Thank you, Wing Commander Ranjan. So, can you enable screen sharing for me, Wing Commander KK Verma? Screen sharing, please. Wing Commander Verma. Hey, one minute, you can share. Please. Or I will. Please share. You are able to share now? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see? Yes, yes. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, I would like to introduce our moderator uh, for the session, Wing Commander Bupendra Ranjan, who's the founder of uh, Global Nexus. It's an event organization firm which specializes in events for VIPs and VVIPs. 
He's a commissioned uh, Indian Air Force officer uh, who got commissioned in 1968 and served Indian Air Force for 21 years. He was a flyer uh, in the frontline bomber Canberra squadrons. He's also an alumnus of uh, National Defense Academy, Defense Services Staff College, Madras University, Institute of Armament Technology, Ministry of Defense. He participated in the 1971 war operations in the East operations in the West and in the Sri Lanka operations. He has about 16 years of corporate experience in international marketing and operations. And he has worked with uh, some organizations like Thermix Limited, Pune, CK Builda Group and CUNY Travels. He has his own NGO, Arise, which is uh, working for entrepreneurship and innovation. And in 2022, he was awarded Visionary Leader of the Year by integrated chambers of commerce and industry and he has been a uh, member of associations like center for education growth and research and fellow member of integrated chamber of commerce and industry he is a life member uh, of armament technologist of india aeronautical society of india and indian society of training and development and also i have not mentioned here but uh, I would like to share uh, that he was also awarded the Visionary Leader of the Year 2023 by Center of Education, Growth and Research very mm -hmm. recently. And so please welcome him and, you know, clap mm -hmm. for um, his Party recent congratulations. award. Party congratulations to Wing Commander Pupindaranjan for this award and big clap for our side impact for the Pupindaranjanji. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Anuja. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, the next, I would like to introduce my speakers. Uh, Ms. Sunit Kaur, uh, she has over 18 years of experience in dietary counseling, wellness, and lifestyle management. She is a BSc uh, and uh, Home Science, MSc Foods and Nutrition from Bhopal University. And she's also a BA in Anna, from Annamalai University. Uh, she has been a consultant for various clients and has assisted in setting up a few wellness centers like Roselle, which is a spa and salon in Defense Colony, New Delhi, New Spice Wellness, which is a spa, salon and slim, a slimming center in Noida, and Moin Salon and Spa in Nirvana Vihar, Gurgaon. So uh, she has rich experience uh, from VLCC Healthcare Private Limited, where she was the vice president uh, looking after the operations and the um, healthcare centers of VLCC all over India. And she was also the, uh, she had a small stint with Florina Group, which is also um, specialized in the Salon come uh, spa chain. And she was general manager of operations there. Her professional attributes include new center development, launches, sale, increasing sales, profitability, public relations, equipment sourcing and installation for spa and salon centers, customer relationship management. So I welcome uh, Ms. Sunit Kaur with such a wonderful, bright experience and which um, gives us so much insight about what she does about dietary counseling, mm -hmm. wellness, and uh, lifestyle management. Next, I would like to uh, uh, introduce my friend. Uh, he was also my batchmate in the diploma program um, in ISCD, where um, Wing Commander KK Verma was also our mentor during those uh, you know years when we were doing our program. So, um, uh, it, it gives me great happiness to uh, welcome him for this session on uh, seven habits of highly effective people. He's a motivational trainer and speaker for this theme. Uh, about his background, uh, he's an army veteran and uh, he has served for more than uh, 14 years uh, in training and uh, teaching post-retirement from army. He, he was an he has been associated with Amity University Manasar. He was associate professor and head of the department for communications, behavioral etiquette training, employability and interview skills. He led the center of excellence on grooming at Amity University. 
and he has groomed and trained over 10,000 students and working professionals in areas like group discussion, resume writing, interpersonal skills. He's also a life member of Indian Society of Training and Development. Uh, he's an MBA in marketing and HR from Patiala University. And so uh, I'll be, I'm more than happy to welcome him and uh, Ms. Sunit Kaur for this session today. Over to Wing Commander Verma, thank you. Thank you very much, Anuja ji. Now I think uh, she has already introduced two speakers and moderator. I will request Colonel Anil Gulati. Please, your turn, sir. Colonel Anil Gulati. Blessing you. Gulati, sir, are you getting us? Gulati. Oh, yes, now. Uh, there was some interruption, but now things are okay. Okay, please go ahead, sir. Right, I may start now. Yes, sir. You uh, thank you for the kind words. Uh, Anuja, am I audible and visible, of course? Audible? You are audible. Yes, yes, visible. very much. Very much. Right. Uh, thank thank you. you for the kind words and a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to share the screen, please. You can share the screen, sir. Yeah, I'm doing that. Right. Screen is also visible? Yes, it is visible. The seven habits of highly effective people. Arguably the best book ever written on personal and interpersonal effectiveness. A book that has changed rather transformed millions of lives. Can it change yours? I have no reason to think otherwise. Let's get started. Habits. Something we repeatedly do. Relatively constant can be learned and unlearned. Effectiveness, we often mix up with efficiency. When first time I took a session with students of MIT Business School, Manesa, 2008, we played a game of diamond so that students understand this particular uh, concept. I told my students, close your eyes, 200 meters, you find ladders, pick up ladder, climb the wall, get on top, get a target. The only problem was there was one diamond, 60 students, lots of competition. After one minute, one student raised hands, Sandeep Alawat. He was a 400 meters gold medalist. And he claimed diamond on two counts. First, he said, I was totally focused on running. Not these words, I'll come back to these words again. And second, he said, you find this letter, sir? Some spans are relatively narrow. So I took a double step there. Now, my question to you is, was Sandeep Alawat efficient? I think he was super efficient. Question two, was he effective? Well, the answer is, we don't know. We haven't spoken of diamond so far. If he gets diamond, is effective, otherwise no. Now, once he reached on top, he realized that ladder he had picked up was climbing, was leaning against the wrong wall. Quite familiar? In the corporate, every day we hear, people are in rat race, reach on top, and then realize this is not what they wanted from life. Especially after COVID, a lot of people became much wiser. The second condition for effectiveness is it has to be on a sustainable basis. We all heard of this story, goose and the golden egg. <clears throat> Peace for eggs, that's production. PC is for production capacity. That is the goose. So you need to have a balance and then only we call it effectiveness. This is how seven habits look like. Please take a look. Habit one, proactive is slightly more than initiative. Two is begin with an 
and in mind. Diamond was the end. Put first thing first is a separate book by itself, which further elaborates on the concept of first thing first. Three habits take us from dependence to independence. They are sort of private victory, like my victory over my heart, over my mind. In Gurbani, we say, Man jite jagjeet. Once I become independent, I realize that I can do much more with the help of others. A good team player can achieve much more. So I enter into the public domain, interpersonal relationship. Think win-win, seek first to understand, then to be understood, synergize. Now, habit number seven is about continuous self-renewal in all four dimensions. As Wing Commander brought out about health, it is about health, it is about mental health, it is about uh, social and emotional relations, it is about uh, spirituality. So you need to have a balance between all these four dimensions and then it becomes a balanced self-renewal. Have it one. Let me share a secret with you. Most of my students, especially the boys, they are in love. They are in love with the bike. Like I was a young captain in love with my bike bullet. I like the sound of it. Along, based on this dimension of love, I've created a story. Please join the narrative. In fact, each one of you is going to be the hero of the story. You're riding your bike, enjoying it, and somebody overtakes you. Overtakes you in a very, very aggressive manner. He almost banged into you. Fortunately, you're safe. Your bike is safe. Next red light, as luck would have it, you find that person parked next to you. My question to you is, what's your response? You know, when I ask this question in live sessions, a lot of young people start blushing at the question, what's your response? But from my myriad of answers which I've got, I'll share some of you. I'll ignore. I'll give him a dirty look. I'll abuse him. And in one particular session with the non-teaching staff, one clerk got up. Sarji, if it was a little bit of a mess, I would have Now the same thing, so many responses, two lessons. We have a choice. We can respond the way we choose to. Second, the consequences we cannot control, they are controlled by the choices we make. Uh, sorry. So uh, these will, before we analyze further, let's have some coffee. Uh, sorry, I can't offer coffee because coffee spill has already taken place. A working couple along with their eight and a half years daughter enjoying their breakfast. Husband almost finished breakfast. Wife drinks a cup of coffee and places on the table. The daughter is more excited. She is participating in a fancy dress competition. But in that excitement, her hand extends to the cup and coffee spill takes place on the shirt of that gentleman. He's got no choice but to change the shirt. Story stops. Now, what has not stopped is that he has got option to respond. Let's take one, how he actually responded and then how he could have responded. He immediately shouted at his daughter, you don't have basic table manners. We put you in the best possible school, total waste. Turning to his wife, he says, I don't understand why to place the cup of coffee on the edge of the table. Without looking back, he goes, changes his shirt and also tie. After all, he is the vice president of a company. But what he finds, his daughter is crying, not finished breakfast, missed the school bus. Now he's got no choice but to drop daughter to the school. And school happens to be the other side. So he overspeeds. Pop, 2000, reaches office. And he finds he's left his briefcase home. Entire day was very, very suboptimal performance. Comes home tired, very cold treatment. I'm in no huggy shaggy. Entire day was miserable. My question to you is 
who's responsible for making his day miserable i'll give you four choices daughter wife coffee cop four choices coffee cop daughter wife and the answer is none of the above only that person is responsible and to be precise response of that person which led him to this situation let me tell you he loves his daughter as much as i do or you do but on that particular day the response was not appropriate on another response at second end of spectrum could be he waits for 5 seconds or 10 seconds one deep breath let me demonstrate i've taken a deep breath 10 seconds rest is short within 10 seconds daughter will say sorry papa i mean daughter is so, so sweet no offense meant to the boys here daughter says sorry the father says all right honey be careful next time goes and don't miss your school bus goes change your shirt everything is as good as ever or on top of that with this response the family bonding will become much stronger stimulus and response we have freedom to choose by overtaking the coffee spill taking place they are stimulus stimuli but there is a freedom to choose within those seconds and why we can choose as human beings we are endowed with four qualities self awareness we know our mood our motives we can imagine the consequences of our choices and we got a inner voice which tells us what is right what is wrong and then we got will to execute that decision that choice without external influences i have a lot of concerns in life my own health and happiness well being of my family interview preparation of my students whether roads in gurgaon so i put a circle around so the word is not coming ab aaj kam hai right so i put a circle around i said roads in gurgaon are my area of concern but roads in lahore or islamabad i keep out of the circle in fact in any case those roads are blocked these days at least then i realize i love good weather what we have have in north india what we have around valentine day but i can't do much about it so i draw another circle and focus my energy on circle of influence that's what a proactive person does but in case you are proactive and use your positive energy you can even enlarge your circle of influence like i did once almost 5 years back uh those familiar with gurgaon old golf course extension road was in pretty bad shape i rang up the local councillor and within 4 days the roads were repaired but had i gone into this politicians don't listen unless there's a voting and contractors in any case is all mili bhagat but those negative energy would have further reduced my circle of influence and now i enhance my circle of influence as a proactive person <clears throat> even the language is different take a look if only if only that person could change in fact this book is based on principles and inside out approach these are two main features of this particular book so i choose rather than i have to have it to diamond now everything we create twice first is the mental creation and then is the physical creation you plan this program it was in your mind and there after you start drafting and writing and coordinating various things that was the and today we see the result of that creation mental creation precedes physical creation and destination if destination is diamond 
do not focus only on running fast. Run fast by all means. But don't lose sight of the diamond. We're all familiar with how, how much time we waste in meetings because agenda wasn't good enough and various other things. In personal life or life of contribution, personal mission statement is, is important. And you, you'll find a lot of examples. And this is these are the benefits. It provides direction and purpose. And, and there's no specific format to write a mission statement. I won't go further because it requires a separate one hour session by itself. But I'll still share one mission statement, which I'm very fond of and I found it very effective, which my students and I jointly draft this mission statement on day one of the class. And it corresponds to December 31, corresponds to third semester of MBA students. The problem is the students get into the red race of getting more marks than their neighbor. And they lose sight of that ultimately they have to appear in an interview. So this particular mission statement, which is in the first page of their notebook, they see every day and they are aware of it. It guides me too. When I know that my students have to be interview ready, then I know what extracts to take from my other modules like attire and grooming, body language, presentation skills, etc. It keeps us on track. Have it three. If you would proceed, please pick up your pen and just write two words or in case you want to keep in your mind, it's fine with me. One activity which you're not doing today, if you do on a long-term basis, will make an impact in your life, personal life. One activity in your personal life you are not doing now, in case you do, will make impact in your life. And one activity which you're not doing today, if you do a long-term basis in your professional life, will take your profession a notch above. Let's go ahead. We'll come back to this in a short while from now. So-called time management, we are in one of these three generations. Some of us make checklists, some of us use pads, and most of the younger generation have moved on to the technology. So they're based on beep, beep from mobile or laptop, etc. But so much of control of technology, end of the day, we still hard press for time. That is the paradox. So what we'll solve, we even uh, uh, attend the training programs on time management. We read books on time management, nothing works. The solution I have with me is Take a paradigm move from the way you consider time management. When I say time management, intention is to look at the watch. No, look at the compass first. Clock will come later. So first, the compass, the direction, what you want to do with time, and then how efficiently you do. Like effectiveness comes first, efficiency comes then. The direction comes first, the clock comes later. It's called fourth generation. It's got two main features. We plan for the entire week rather than daily. Daily, we just review it and modify if case required. And the main feature is quadrant two organizing process. Now, there are two terms, urgency, which requires immediate attention, importance, which leads me to higher priority goals. Take a look at... Uh, Quadrant two, preparation, prevention, planning, relationship building. Let's take uh, owner of a car, uh, a car company has got distributors. In case those distributors interaction takes place, possibly you don't have uh, sales coming down and uh, prices take place. Even true recreation will form part of quadrant two. Quadrant three and four, we just ignore. That means try to stay north of the center line and in quadrant two as far as possible. Moment you are in quadrant two, most of the time you'll find your quadrant one will almost shrink. 
it's a quadrant of quality after all. And a flow submission statement. And we have various roles in our lives. Like I'm an individual, I'm a husband, I'm a father of two loving girls, I'm a trainer for my students. I got certain roles in society, like uh, gentleman, lady sitting in front of me, you are responsible for the ISTT. That also must be taking a lot of time. So in that particular role, you select some goals with high impact. So in each role, try to take one to two goals. Though need not select goals in every role. It will depend upon that particular week. And how to select your goals? Through this bucket. This experiment is available on net by Dr. Stephen Covey himself. And after a lot of experimentation, they conclude that only way everything fits into that bucket is put the big rock first, then the pebble, then the sand. You can try at home. But after this experiment, the author asked the student, so what's the lesson? So one student replied, so unless you proceed in this sequence, everything will not fit in. No, that's not the aim. The lesson is, unless you put the big rocks first, those rocks will not fit in the bucket. Stop. Which implies we need to focus on our big rocks, which is a metaphor for the big things in our life, those flows from our values, our mission. So selecting those goals, first identify your big ro rocks for that particular week. Advantages of planning for weekly, focus on importance, on effectiveness, and it provides you an overall diet. And then it's a five-step process, vision and mission, identify those roles we spoke on, personal life, professional life, against each, try and select one to two goals. See how much work-life balance it provides. I've addressed my personal requirement, I've not ignored. Some of you are blessed that your parents are staying with you. I mean, in case they are unwell, I'm sure everybody rushes them to the hospital. But many do not go in for preventive checkups, which possibly will uh, obviate the necessity of going to the hospital. So you can select certain goal that in this week, I'll take my parents to the hospital for preventive checkups. And the decision making framework, and then finally, press on regardless. Now, I, I was with Mahale, Mahale filters those days, so I must have made that uh, time. Let's start from the Last one, CMP and move northward. CMP is Confederation of Management Professionals. The HR professionals of Gurgaon and Manesar, we made a forum to learn from each other. And we also decided to have a magazine in physical copy, and we called it Prava. Prava is the flow. And I was nominated as uh, editor, so I had to keep some time. I was already editor Mahale.com and subsequently any bus at MIT also I took that responsibility. It requires a lot of it's very challenging job. EHS, I was MR for ISO certification 14001 and OSAS 18001. That was my main role. But I also had additional responsi responsibility of HR uh, in terms of recruiting people uh, from Senabo, uh, Senic board ex servicemen that's a very uh, it's a beautiful organization with a wonderful concept called oe concept operating engineer concept that means young and boys and girls they are on workstation the workers are only for packing so they have a team four five six oes in one team along with one ex serviceman see the overall effectiveness and discipline improves. So that was my job. So I had to keep, keep some time there. And now I convert it into actual, I have not filled the entire thing, leave it to you. Normally when I conduct uh, this outside, like I did at uh, NS South Daily Mall, I timed this particular thing just before the lunch break and assigned a task to those 30 participants 
It's a beautiful training uh, uh, facility in that mall they have created. And after, immediately after that lunch break, I call the students or participants. One team presented, like we have in the army, syndicate one presents, syndicate two critiques, and it turned out to be a very good experience. Now I'm left with three more slides, including this one. All these three, that is habit four, five, and six, they happen to be an interpersonal domain. So my audience analysis or other audience awareness told me that as trainers, we are very comfortable in this domain. This is our home ground actually. So I took a decision, made a choice to stay within time limits I focus on habit number one, two, and three, and bring out only the core lessons of each of the remaining habits. And should there be any discussion points or more elaboration, I love to do that as decided by the session moderator. Win-win, we have in HR win-win agreements, mutually benefit solutions. Habit five is seek first to understand for that, you have to listen. Listen with the intent to understand. Listen with your ears, hearts, and your eyes. Empathic listening. And do not forget what we learned in MBA and diploma, ethos, pathos, and logos. They support this. Synergies, that outcome is more than some of its parts. And with a precondition for all these three habits is you need to have degree of trust in the other persons you are dealing with. For that, you need to have a very high EBA and emotional bank account. You know, we all have accounts. We deposit money. Somebody else does, pays in our salary. Similarly, we invest in trust with each other. I'm good to you, I respect you, I wish you, I am a good team person with you. I take responsibility for you. I don't nag behind your back. So I've deposited, made a positive deposits. And thereafter, in one particular day, I make a mistake. Then I withdraw from that emotion. But my balance, if it's positive, I need not worry at all. I finally, oh, sorry. Bhagavad Gita chapter 7 says, live what you learn. Like we saw in Synergy, Buddhism says the higher way. So here, Bhagavad Gita says, live what you learn. Seven habits say the same thing. It says, live these habits. Pick up one habit, plan for a week, and imbibe all the lessons. It becomes part of your DNA. Take example, habit one. I share the carpool. I tell my colleagues, please observe how I behave when I encounter route traffic or uh, how I dealt with certain customers who do not have the requisite good manners. So I correct myself. In fact, in case you uh, become, uh, this becomes part of your DNA, from the environment you'll keep uh, picking up. Some of you might have watched yesterday's uh, Awakening with Brahma Kumari, Sister Shivani and actor Suresh Obrai, 7.32.8. I was wondering, I'm sitting in a class because she kept mentioning stimulus response. But she gave example of a broken cup, then example somebody rude to you, somebody cheated you business, so many stimulus and what's your response? Normally what you hear is paristhiti, that means what's happening in the environment and then like this indicates sthiti. That means my response is what makes this to learn. So if you observe and validate, I think you go along. And the best part as trainers, you all know, we learn more by teaching, conducting sessions like I learned today. Thank you so much. I salute my audience and Jack.
uh, question I understand is later. I'm, I'm ready uh, whenever the session moderator. Mr. Ranjan, any comments and we proceed to the next. Uh, I think should we uh, request uh, Sumit Nan to uh, present and then we could uh, have the uh, right. discussion question answer session. Yes. Right. I will so I stop. I stop. Share with your permission. And I don't need slides in any case. Right, sir. Yeah. I think, uh, thank you very much for a very nice talk. Uh, question answer we will have after this second talk. And I will request all the audience to put the question in the chat box in case if you have you may have a chance to forget it or something. So that we, uh, I will requ uh, request the speakers to note it down and even moderator to note it down. Madam Sunit Kaur. Should I start? Yes, madam. All right. Good afternoon, Pranam and Namaskar to all. Sabse pehle, main Dr. Deepa Gupta, Mrs. Seema Sinha, and other members of Managing Committee, ISTD, Noida Chapter, ko tahe dil se shukriya ala karti hu for inviting me to express my views on lifestyle modification to maintain a work-life balance to achieve a state of well-being. In the present times, words like anxiety, stress, burnout, depression, fatigue, tiredness, and busyness syndrome have become some common terms. 50 to 60 years back, when we were growing up as kids, we did not hear our parents talk of these terms, nor did they were, nor do were they suffering from any of the work stresses. Let's understand what is that has changed in the modern times. Our access to medical facilities has improved multifold. Our buying capacity has improved. We are leading more luxurious lives than our ancestors. In spite of this, our parents and grandparents had a higher happiness quotient than us. They were more socially active. So what is that has changed in our lives? What is causing these lifestyle disturbances? Uh, sir, can I uh, request you to share the slides? Yes. Slide one. The next slide, please. Next slide, please. Just a minute. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. So could you just do it on the on the full screen mode? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Next slide. Okay. Definition of wellness. Yes. So what is the definition of wellness as per World Health Organization? World Health Organization also describes wellness as a state of complete physical, mental, and emotional well-being, and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. Now, next slide, please. How do you define work-life balance? Work-life balance is a concept which helps us in prioritizing our time between our work life and our personal life. Our work life includes time spent at work and our personal life includes time spent with family and friends, time spent for leisure and recreational activities, time spent for physical activities to achieve a state of wellness. Next slide, please. Now, to understand what are the factors that are affecting our work-life balance. The first one, like Colonel Gulati just now spoke, the new millennium is the era, era of digitalization, which has led to non-stop use of electronic gadgets like smartphones, iPads, tab tablets. 
they have become our 24 seven partners leading to excessive screen time. These gadgets were de devised, were invented for our comfort, but we look to have become their slaves. Next is the technological advancements. Now, technology also in this era has grown multifold. Excessive use of technology is leading to more and more uh, use of our brains and lesser and lesser use of our bodies. All our jobs get done at the, at the click of a remote button. This is, of course, leading to higher productivity, but it is also leading to stricter deadlines and uh, also read, uh, shortage of time. Moving on to the next one, social media. Social media is another factor which is affecting our work-life balance. Constant bombardment of information, constant connectedness, we are constantly connected over the social media with friends and family. There is a peer pressure to do more and show more. Has become, it's become like a culture in the modern times. The above factors are leading to excessive use of our minds. Our minds by nature are peace loving. What makes our minds happy is a walk in the greens listening to music, maybe do some gardening, cook a sumptuous meal for the family. All these simple activities have gotten missing from our day's routine because of the fast paced lives. Now let's understand that what are the repercussions of these on our lives? Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yes, yes. So what are the repercussions on our lives? Our the above factors, they have our sleep time is distorted. Our activity time is distorted. Our time for social activities, interactive sessions with the a family is distorted. There's no time to pursue our hobbies and interests. Activities as simple as bird watching, sitting by yourself and gazing at the sky have all gotten missing from our lives. When our minds are active 24 seven, working on deadlines and not getting time to sit back and relax, we are only harboring stress. Stress is increasing because of the desk job. The sedentary lifestyles are becoming more and more popular. We start feeling isolated when we are socially not active. It also leads to a busyness, loneliness, tiredness syndrome. All these factors lead to a burnout at an early age. Let's move, move on to the next slide. Next slide, sir. Next slide, please. It's, it's a little slow, I think. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, Hanji, to understand in nutshell, the above factors lead to slow and steady weight gain. We start gaining uh, weight when when our calorie intake is more than the calorie expended we start gaining weight we realize that if we have gained say around a kg of weight in a month over a period of time if we have consistent consistently gained around five kilos in five months now all this weight comes on the midriff because of our sedentary lifestyles causing central obesity. It leads to increased waist circumference. It also leads to increased resting heart rate, increased body mass index, and increased waist and hip ratio. All these factors contribute to obesity and to weight gain. Now, obesity 
and weight gain is the mother of all diseases hypertension cardiovascular diseases diabetes mellitus endocrine disturbances knee problems knee joint pains and aches arthritis osteoporosis anxiety depression all is a result of weight gain and obesity uh, india is referred to as diabetic capital in the world as 17% of people suffering from diabetes live in india this is an alarming fact 50 60 years back we did not even hear of this word diabetes our parents did not or our grandparents never suffered from this kind of problem let's now understand what are the contributors to this Uh, let's move on to the next slide yes now this is a happy news contributors to wellness there are four contributors to physical emotional and mental wellness the first and foremost is nutrition and diet management the second one is exercise internal and external connection and sleep let's move on to the next slide please okay so there is a common saying you are what you eat jaisa an waisa man this is a very true saying our food energizes us to perform all the tasks during this day so it is very important to pay attention to our diets earlier days like hum hum apne bachpan ko yaad kare to eating meals used to be a ritual in the in the families that has gotten missing we always rushed for time we are eating our meals on a run so what is important is to have balanced meal and wholesome meals i have depicted this food pyramid which is on dietary guidelines laid down by national institute of nutrition on our daily diets so this has uh, this includes uh, this includes foods from all the food groups and how much should we be eating the first one is the fruit and vegetable group fruit and vegetable group should be eaten liberally why because fruits and vegetables have all the nutrients and the most important is that they contain nine vitamins now these vitamins are okay uh, these vitamins are not stored in the body they are they can they can be reached to our bodies only through fruits and vegetables and they get absorbed so daily intake of these fruits and vegetables is important moving on to the next group cereals pulses millets and legumes and beans cereals pulses legumes and beans to hai hamari staple diet hai indian diet mein magar millets jo hai millets have gained lot are gaining lot of popularity in the present times uh, we because millets are also known as superfoods millets have gained popularity internationally the good news for all of us is that united nations general assembly has uh, has declared this year 2023 as year of the millets our present government is doing a lot to revive the meat, millet eating culture in our country millets jo hai hamari diet ka ek uh, important ancient diets ka ek important hissa hua karte the but during the green revolution jo wheat or rice ko industrialize kiya kiya gaya to millets they took a back seat into our diets but to understand millets ke bahut fayde hain they are known as superfoods they all so they were also known as poor man's diet millets ke andar the soluble and insoluble fiber jo wheat and rice hai us uh, millets ke andar 10 times jyada uh, jyada ज्यादा फाइबर होता है कंपेयर टू वीट एंड राइस 
because of the fiber content, they stay in our stomach for like uh, for longer hours. ये पांच से छह घंटे में stomach पे रहते हैं, slowly and steadily digest होते हैं. So they do not cause sugar, sugar spikes. आपको जल्दी भूख नहीं लगाते, satiety feel करते हैं. So including them is very very important. जो वीट एंड राइस है आपने सुना होगा कि लोग कहते हैं मैं राइस खाता हूँ मुझे जल्दी भूख लग जाती है दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई आर पॉपुलेशन इज गेनिंग वेट एंड ओबेसिटी हैज बिकम सो पॉपुलर इन आर कंट्री नाउ ऑल्सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी मस्ट इंक्लूड मिलेट्स जवार बाजरा मक्कई रागी ये सब मिलिट्स जो हैं हमारे यहाँ हमारी धरोहर हैं सो वी मस्ट इंक्लूड देम इन आर डाइट्स आई एम आई एम मूविंग ऑन फास्टर बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट वन इज द मिल्क ग्रुप नाट्स मिल्क ग्रुप एग्स फिश पोल्ट्री आई थिंक वी ऑल नो अबाउट इट थोड़ा सा मैं ऑयल्स के बारे में कहना चाहूंगी ऑयल्स uh, uh, जो है कैन वी गो बैक टू द स्लाइड कैन वी गो बैक टू द प्रीवियस स्लाइड ऑयल्स जो है जरूर लेने चाहिए वी शुड नॉट गो ऑन ऑयल फ्री और फैट फ्री डाइट बिकॉज ऑयल आर दे एब्सॉर्ब दे हेल्प इन एब्सॉर्बन ऑफ फोर विटामिन दैट इज विटामिन ए विटामिन डी विटामिन ई एंड विटामिन के एंड ये जो विटामिन है हमारी बॉडी में स्टोर होते हैं सो प्लीज डू डू यूज ऑयल्स बट यूज दिन जुडिशियसली the next one is which has to be sparingly used wo hai processed food junk foods ready to eat foods main to inke liye kehti hu complete no no they are loaded with salt they are loaded with uh, sugar they are loaded with refined flour they have trans fats in them kyunki ye processed hote hain inke andar nutrients inke khatam ho jate hain and they are also engineered to uh, become addictive to your taste buds aap dekhte hain ki bachchon ko maggi ki lat lag jati hai because uske jo packets hote hain uske andar additives dale hote hain we can move on to the next slide sir so this is next slide sir so this is my plate for the day many plate sorry so can we go back to the previous slide the previous slide previous slide sorry this is my plate for the day this is a, a plate for the day which is which has been designed by national institute of nutrition so next slide please next slide the plate for the day my plate for the day हाँ जी ये बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है इसके अंदर कितने कितने पोर्शन साइजेस खाने चाहिए दिन में वो मेंशनड है यू ऑल कैन गूगल इट इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ मेडिकल रिसर्च इन एसोसिएशन विद नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन हैज डिवाइज दिस पेट एंड व्हाट आई लाइक द मोस्ट अबाउट इट दैट दिस इज व्हाट प्रमोट्स गुड हेल्थ इट प्रिवेंट्स hidden hunger and protects us from diseases so humne apni diet mein ye sab kuch is plate ke anusar include karna chahiye let's move on to the next slide sir next one next slide sir uh kuch kuch points maine jot down kiye hain we should mon previous slide sir previous uh ha monitor your portion size i think this is very nice if you can talk more on this ओके सो पोर्शन साइज को मॉनिटर करना अगर हम देखें हमारी दादी नानी जो हैं मुट्ठे के हिसाब से चावल भिगोती थी घर में पांच जने हैं तो पांच मुट्ठी चावल भिगोए जाते थे दैट वाज अ वेरी गुड वे ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग द क्वांटिटीज एंड आल्सो अवॉइडिंग वेस्टेज तो वी कैन नाउ यूज मेजरिंग कप्स टू डू दैट एंड ऑल्सो वॉट इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट वेन वी ईट वी शुड eat the, sit down as a family the family that eats together also stays together aur khane ko ek ritual banaye aur khane ko 
अच्छे से चबा के खाएं दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इट फिल्स इट गिवस यू सिटाइटी यू शुड ईट फूड्स विद लो ग्लाइसमिक इंडेक्स बिकॉज ये आपको आपके ब्लड में शुगर फास्ट नहीं रिलीज करते आपको जल्दी भूख नहीं लगाते ऑल्सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट कोल्ड प्रेस्ड ऑयल्स यूज करें कच्ची घानी के तेल वुड प्रेस्ड ऑयल्स को यूज करें जो इंडस्ट्रियल ऑयल्स हैं दे हैव उनके अंदर उनकी इंडस्ट्रियल ऑयल्स में ड्यूरिंग एक्सट्रैक्शन बहुत से विटामिन मिनरल्स लॉसेस हो जाते हैं सो वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर कैन वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड रेगुलर फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज को अपना डेली हैबिट अनुज प्रीवियस स्लाइड previous it's there previous slide sir physical regular exercise physical exercise haan ji it's there regular physical exercise haan ji फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज भी एक इम्पॉर्टेंट है फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज से आपके फील गुड हार्मोन सिक्रिएट होते हैं एंडोरफिन सिरटोनिन ऑक्सीटॉक्सिन दे हेल्प यू इन रिलीविंग स्ट्रेस दे हेल्प यू इन रिलीविंग रेगुलर फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज हेल्प यू इन रिलीविंग स्ट्रेस इन रिलीविंग एंगजाइटी और दे ऑल्सो हेल्प यू इन बिल्डिंग ऑन योर मसल मास on your bone strength and bone density menopause ke baad usually women ko problem aati hai because of the calcium losses bone density kam ho jati hai when we regularly exercise it helps in making our bones stay healthy the regular physical exercise improves upon our sleep quality and induces relaxation there are three mantras make exercise a daily habit or find time a uh, find the regimen as per your sorry sir can we go back to the can we go back to the physical exercise yeah it's slide it's yes uh, and respect your body's limits uh, i have seen clients of enthusiasm se bahut jyada exercise karne lag jate hain do not do that build on agar aap kabhi nahi karte the aur यूज इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं फिजिकल एक्टिविटी को तो स्लोली एंड स्टेडली इंट्रोड्यूस कीजिए वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर इंटरनल एंड दिस इज अबाउट इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल कनेक्शन सर क्या इसके बाद वाली स्लाइड पहले दिखा देंगे यस योगा मेडिटेशन सो so, अगर हम स्ट्रेस फ्री लाइफ जीना चाहते हैं तो आई थिंक वी शुड इंट्रोड्यूस योगा योगिक एक्सरसाइजेस मेडिटेशन एंड ब्रेथ वर्क इन टू आर डेज रूटीन ये दिस दिस हैज बीन टेकन अवे फ्रॉम आस बाय द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड एंड दे आर कैपिटलाइजिंग ऑन दिस बट जितने भी इमोशनल और मेंटल स्ट्रेसेस हैं उनका आंसर है मेडिटेशन सी अवर माइंड इज फुल ऑफ थॉट्स इन अ डे वी वी हम दिन में तकरीबन फोर्टी थाउजेंड थॉट्स आते हैं हमारे दिमाग में नाउ दीज थॉट्स आर यूजली वेस्ट थॉट्स जब हम मेडिटेशन करते हैं तो ये थॉट्स द नंबर ऑफ थॉट्स धीरे धीरे डिक्रीज होने लगता है और जब हम माइंडफुल मेडिटेशन करते हैं दी स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग एलिवेटेड थॉट्स सो इट इज मेडिटेशन के बहुत से फायदे हैं इट हेल्प्स अस इन इम्प्रूविंग ऑन आर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इट हेल्प्स अस इट गिव्स अस आंसर्स आपके पास कोई भी प्रॉब्लम uh, आती है और आप जब मेडिटेट करते हो तो आपको उसके आंसर्स मिलने लगते हैं साथ में ब्रेथ वर्क प्राणायाम इज आल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल फॉर मेंटेनिंग गुड इमोशनल एंड मेंटल हेल्थ वी कैन गो बैक टू द प्रीवियस स्लाइड सर यस इंटरनल प्रीवियस स्लाइड सर Uh, so uh external connections now talking about external connections it is important to be socially active jab hum socially active hote hain to hamara 
I for illness starts getting converted into V for wellness. Uh, so, apne aapko, you, we must engage ourselves into social activities, games, uh, kuch bhi, uh, kuch bhi activities, kijiye, but zarur include kijiye. Inten intellectually engage activities, kijiye, they improve upon, upon our cognitive skills, like play, playing a, a game of bridge. We used to see that our parents were sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and chess or scrabble together. So we must engage into these kind of activity, activities uh, to reduce on our stresses. Can we move on? Yes. Sleep management. Hanji. Now, sleep management is one very important aspect in the modern times. Our eyes are so exposed hai to the screen lights that our sleep is distorted. We are living in so many stresses mein ji rahe hai, that at times, those stresses play on our mind and we do not. Now, sleep management, mein bahut, uh, nature has designed our bodies in sync with nature. This is nature ka a clock, hai, sunrise or sunset. Similarly, our body clock is like this. As the sun sets, there is a hormone which is, a, which is called melatonin. This melatonin ki secretion which tells tells us that this is time for us to sleep. Hame, but jab when we are tricked into the screen lights and gadget lights, to hame, uh, our mind jo hai, wo lights ko uh, samajta nahi, to our sleeps disturb hoti hai. So it is important ki hum uh, se takriban ek ghanta pehle apni uh, uh, Screens se, uh, screens skip ko on na rakhe, TVs ko, any of the screens ko band karte. It is also important that uh, we should uh, sleep on time. Jo time pe hum sote hai, ek apna ritual banaye, sone ka aur uthne ka. So usse ek bhoat bada fayda hi hota hai ki aapki body clock activate hoti hai. Aapko automatically usi time pe na, aapki neend khulegi aur aapko so that becomes again your body cycle. We can move on to the next slide, sir. Next slide, sir. Yeah. So uh, there are three mantras for. Can we just move on to the next slide, sir? Uh, to the previous slide. Previous slides, sir? Yeah. So there are three mantras for good sleep. Sabse pehle switch off. Sir, can you just bring in, bring that whole last one point, Ms. Sogea? Yeah, last one. Three mantras. Hanji. So uh, electronic gadgets ko ek ghanta pehle aap band ki chye. Caffeine jo hai, wo aap teen baje ke baad. Coffee or Chai, tea, both of them are stimulants. They don't give us any benefit. So, isko teen baje ke baad na pichye. Sleep and wake up on the same time. We can move on to the next slide. Yes. We can move on to the next. Yeah. So, ultimately, how do we achieve this holistic wellness? Physical act, physical wellness jo hai aapko nutrition se exercise se or good sleep se milti hai. Emotional wellness jo hai aapko breathing exercises se or nutrition se milti hai. Or in sab ka resultant hai mental wellness. Mental wellness mein jab aap meditation ko or breathing exercise ko include karte hai or socially active hote hai, you are able to achieve holistic wellness. We can move on to the next slide. Next slide, sir. Next slide. Sir. In the end, I would end up by saying that always be in, be in gratitude for every small blessing. Start your day with a note of thanks. Spend some time before you go to uh, bed 
thanking the universe for what all good thing happens to you. Develop an attitude of gratitude. Create positivity to tap the power and potential within you to change, to bring the change you desire. The power is all lying within you and you can tap it. Sari shaktiya hamare andar hai, samai hui hai, aur inko hum, and when you change the world around you changes. I, I would like to end up my session for one minute of meditation for everyone, if that is fine by everyone. Because I believe in this. Is it okay? Okay, sir, can I do a one minute of meditation? Everyone, wherever you're sitting, uh, straighten your spine, yes. close your eyes, bring your hands on your knees. Should I stop this slide? Yeah, you could stop this slide. So I'm just doing a small uh, one minute session of meditation. So we will uh, just straighten your spine and exhale slowly and steadily. Apne, apne dono, dono bahon ke beech mein. Agya Chakra. Agya Chakra is the knowledge center. It is the penal center. Sari Shaktiya Hamare Andar Samai Hui Hai. To tap these energies, each and every one is gifted with equal power. When we start meditating on our Agya Chakra, we are able to achieve whatever we want. Just relax. We can relax, open our eyes, and that's all for the day. Thank you so much. Thank you for the patient hearing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Commander Ranjan. Yeah. Hi, I, I must thank uh, both the speakers, uh, Colonel Anil and Sunit, madam, for having covered the subject uh, thoroughly in the given time. I, I think uh, at this age also I realize that there's a lot to learn from uh, these two topics. And uh, let's hope that some of us can put some of these practices. And I, as uh, Ran Saab rightly covered, just take up one good habit a week and that should be good enough. And uh, it, it's a matter of a little time that you should be a perfect person shortly. Okay, coming to the question uh, answer session, I'll request. Sir, I have, I have, I have one point to uh, share. Minutes ke upar, I have done a, a session with Women's Health Research Forum (WHRF). Yeah, so anybody wanting to know more about millets could log on to or I could send a link to you guys which you could share with the audience if they want to learn about more about millets. Sure, sure. Well, it will be a pleasure, Sujit. Okay, coming to the question session, I would request uh, whoever wants to ask a question to introduce himself uh, and uh, let it be a targeted question to one of the speakers instead of you giving your views. Of course, your views are always welcome. So we will uh, start this question session. Before that, I'll ask a question to Kansa. Uh, Kansa, very well covered. Uh, but uh, and this book has been widely read. It's been read by millions and millions of people, and millions of, cop of copies have been sold. But there is a one criticism, uh, criticism of this book, and that is that after a few pages, it becomes repetitive. It's the same thing over and over again. And then secondly. <clears throat> It stresses on the seven habits. It doesn't stress on the goal. In fact, the most important thing is the goal. And then in those habits, he says, okay, goals and all. But that should have been the first thing before he went in. Uh, your comments, sir. No, no, I, I haven't understood the question. You say that it's not how to do it or it's not uh, goal or it is a... See, there are two, two, uh, two questions. One is the book is repetitive. That, you know, after a few pages, it's the same thing over and over again. And number two is that it doesn't talk of goals. I mean, a goal should have been taken as the first thing that, uh, you know, successful person must have the goals put first and then the other habits. These are the two questions, sir. 
No, as far as repetition is concerned, I think eighth habit, it would have been fair comment, but not for seven habits. It, it moves so progressively. In fact, the word used is continuum. That means in continuation. It's not that one habit finishes and second starts. It continues that way. And as far as goal is concerned, I think we have to find our own ways how to achieve certain things. For example, as uh, ma'am also covered out, uh, covered that uh, our uh, renewal in all four dimensions, that last habit sharpened the saw. We all know the story of that woodcutter. You have to have spiritual dimensions. Now, how to do it? The author has explained very well, in my opinion, wherein even physically said, depends upon your exercise, your nutrition, your rest, stress-free life, etc. But in case somebody finds that it's not a direct way of doing it, there are a lot of other books how to do it. Uh, on my shelf is lying Atomic Habits. In my last session, somebody mentioned Sir, Seven Habits is old, which uh, I have to differ. But in case you want that, this is how I'll get into the physical exercise routine. Follow that habit. Now, what is that uh, Atomic Habits? That when I come home, my track suit is the first item I observe on my bed. I'll be possibly motivated. It all depends. Eighth habit, I can say it's rather lengthy, but I don't think uh, we can take that. Yeah. Right. I think iPhone is there with us. What's your name, sir? You, have put, name Gulati. you have put a question in chat box. Could you ask question yourself? I say it's in chat box? Yeah, he's there. And, iPhone, it's a written name iPhone. So I was just <laughs> referring to him. Sir, your video was coming up again, it has vanished. Please iPhone. introduce yourself. iPhone, please come with your video on and ask the question. And kindly introduce yourself. No. I think he may not be interested. Any other question? I think, please. Okay. Uh, can, can I can I take it? I have one question before I open it to the house. Uh, and that is for Sum, uh, Sumit Ma'am. Uh, Sumit Ma'am, uh, there's been a lot of talk of, uh, you know, hours of working and the days. There were times people worked seven hours, uh, I'm sorry, seven days a week and they were happy. And then we started six days. And then, of course, uh, a few uh, tens of years back, even in India, it became five days a week. And now in Europe, you hear four days a week. Now, uh, would you like to comment on the uh, work-life balance and the, the number of days and the hours we work? Other questions for Sumit? Uh, yes, sir. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I truly agree with you. Western world is realizing that what what has been the uh, what have been the downside of these uh, these regular working hours but hamare india mein abhi bhi ye culture jo hai na ki hum phone ghar pe aa jate hain we are still connected with work that has been passed down passed on from the western world to us our it sector you see no the young professionals they are working 24/7 that is what is the culprit. So, so ये बहुत important है कि individualistically हम अपने आप ये goal रख के रखें कि हमें कैसे we have to divide the line between our work hours and our life hours. Or I don't think we switch off. पहले हम जब हम बच्चे होते थे our parents would come back from work and they were with us. They were spending time with us, which is not no longer happening. And another change which has happened is both the parents working. Both of them have their career goals. Both of them are ambitious. So somewhere drawing a line is important. And this has to be an individual's affair. It can't be jointly uh, labeled as something. I hope I've, I've been able to answer you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, Doctor, may I add something here? Dr. Vijay, I'm here. Uh, Chairman. On the previous question, previous question, may I add something? Chapter. Please, sir. If I'm Sir, allow Dr. Gulati to. It's not the number of hours which matters or how many days you work. It's also the quality of work. In case you are enjoying it, if my hobby becomes my profession, 
like it became in the later part. I was very fond of debates and declamation and public speaking. If that becomes my profession, I don't mind working any amount that you ask me to. Was Steve Jobs stressed? I think he slept in the garage and worked for endless. He never went home for so many years or even uh, Bill Gates. So I think the quality of work for that, the eighth habit uh, brings out beautiful lessons. Overall, I find it too bulky a book to follow. It says, uh, I put that statement uh, along with my TP on my uh, WhatsApp also. It's find your voice and inspire others to find theirs. Now, your voice comes from need. That means somebody is ready to pay. Then your natural talent and the passion. Passion is something which naturally energizes you. And evaluate in the context of your conscious and you find your voice. In case you have found your voice, then I think these hours and all uh, do not matter much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. There is a question from uh, one of the... Uh, may, uh, may I something? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Please go ahead. Please. Uh, sir, uh, welcome, with reference to this seminar. Uh, allow me, Namaste, Fata, sir, allow me to welcome you on the platform yes, of yes. the ICD Noida chapter. <laughs> yes, not thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So thank you. you on this platform. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I made a point to visit your uh, platform, so to meet you all and to uh, take further the, our collaboration. Yeah. So, so with reference to actually work life, you know, I would like to add something. Uh, it is it is a nowadays called not work life balance, but it is life work integration. So now we want to integrate the work into our life. Life is a part. Work is a part of life as the family, society, everything is a part of our life. How to integrate those things into our life? That is what is now the focus and that is what they are working. With reference to uh, what to do and what not to do, because why we think about the work-life balance? Because we are spending the resources available with us on work and then leaving us a deficient in the resources to spend on the other activities. So that means time we are spending, the energy, the efforts we are spending on the work activity, we are drained out and then the remaining time, whatever time is required to spend on our other activity, we are not able to do it uh, justify. We are not able to justify for that. So thing is that uh, another point what you uh, says, Colonel Saab says that uh, if the work is more uh, uh, rewarding or more uh, challenging or more motivating, then we don't mind spending much time on it. So, sir, I would like to add here that we, our life is a holistic wellness. So, this ma'am will agree with me that our is a holistic wellness. We have other 10 dimensions of our wellness to take care, in which family is also there, society is also there, personal health is also there, environment is also there. So, we have, we say that we have our roles and responsibilities to play. When we want to play the roles and responsibility, we need to allocate proper, appropriate resources and do justice to those roles and responsibilities. You cannot say, I'm just a worker, so I, I, I'm i going to for the earning money, so I will just focus on earning money and work only. But I have a responsibility to family, to children, to society, to the environment. Uh, to live a holistic and harmonious, well-balanced well life, I need to focus at each of the things. So thereby, I need to do something less, something more, something balanced way. That is what I need to add on this thing. Thank you. Well, Dr. Okay. Well Dr. Pramila Verma, she is there. Madam, if you can introduce and say a few words. You are unmute. Ma'am, you are unmute. Please unmute yourself. You are still not audible. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we can we, we can welcome Karne Lamba. Karne Lamba, good afternoon. Uh, so good to see you after after long, long time. Special to see you <laughs> and <laughs> something very special. Yeah, good afternoon. Small little point to submit or yeah. add. First of all, the habits undergo the change. In the passage of time and the role and responsibility they have. Secondly, who is successful is a very a different term of whether each one of us our aim and ambitions and accordingly habits 
and who is called successful person they fight self and that even okay. wanted to make gulati has made a prioritization after you prioritize the first and foremost thing what comes to your mind that is must must means the first and should be the second one the so if you are done you must perform for the second and then but the day goes by and changing every day because what is important today must may turn into tomorrow so and third day it may so therefore one has to absorb oneself every day and there is a change outlook that brings aptitude and attitude change so that together what dr fate has said is that division of time specific now with the social media they are spending out time all the time and you do many times they you go off the track so therefore one has to very consciously grow and grow in oneself and keep changing your motive your understanding even your goals so therefore a lot of flexibility in today's environment to be successful thank you so much thank dr pramila verma thank you sir i can see brigadier chandra also is your good afternoon brigadier chandra and mr pradeep palotra i would like to hear you both yes yes good afternoon sir dr pramila please so, Nick, there are two questions in the chat box okay one is from mr pradeep malotra he wants to ask how do you manage uh, or control meal cravings for snacking anyone okay. in between <laughs> cravings So need... and the other is why no tea or coffee after 3 pm because in india everybody <laughs> wants to have tea around 4:35 so what do we do about that so there is no tea very, dr very, pramila very you unmute yourself please <laughs> yes dr pramila please unmute yourself at at let sunit ji reply Abdul Mr. Pradeep Malhotra. Till the time, yes, Dr. Pradeep Malhotra, please. Good afternoon. First of all, you know, I like to thank and acknowledge uh, both the speakers. In fact, as they say, that in Gagar and Sagar, so they have put, I mean, like seven habits. I mean, such a vast, a deep subject uh, by Colonel Saab and uh, also Srita. I am putting in all a uh, holistic uh, approach towards maintaining health. Uh, thank you so much. and my uh, question is focused to uh, ma'am sunita ji uh, i think uh, you know this is one very bad habit i have it as a big challenge that i face is this craving you know between the meals particularly in the night <clears throat> that is affecting my health a lot so i like to have your suggestions views and uh, दिन घर में जरूर स्प्राउटेड बीन्स रखे मतलब स्प्राउट्स बहुत तरीके के बन सकते हैं तो वो जरूर घर में फ्रिज के अंदर रखिए उनको हल्का सा चौंक कर लगा के प्याज टमाटर डाल के वेजिटेबल्स डाल के सो दे हेल्प अस इन कर्बिंग आपको बेसिकली क्या चाहिए समथिंग विच फिल्स इन योर स्टमक सो स्प्राउट इज अ वेरी गुड थिंग दूसरा चना चना अगेन सी ये लेग्यूम्स जितने भी है ना पल्स लेग्यूम्स ये फिलिंग होते हैं तो मगर बहुत ज्यादा भी नहीं खाने हैं क्योंकि उनकी कैलोरिफिक कंटेंट ज्यादा होता है तो उनको मुरमुरा के साथ मिक्स कीजिए या नहीं तो भेलपुरी बनाइए सो नो दीज आर सम इनोवेशन विच और आजकल रागी और इन सब चीज की सो मिलेट्स भी एक अच्छी चीज है विच वी शुड इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू आर डाइट्स बिकॉज मिलेट खाने से क्योंकि ये धीरे धीरे डाइजेस्ट होते हैं दे स्टे इन आर स्टमक फॉर फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स तो आपको वो शुगर स्पाइक जो आप कहते हैं ना एकदम से भूख लग जाती है इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ वीट एंड राइस एक्चुअली इफ यू कम टू रियलाइज कि हमारी डाइट में वो स्टेपल है इतने सालों से हम खा रहे हैं 
फटाफट डाइजेस्ट होता है वेर एज मगर मिलेट्स के साथ बहुत सी चीजें ध्यान में रखनी है मिलेट शुड बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड स्लोली एंड स्टेडिली इन आर डाइट्स और मिलेट्स को भिगोना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है मतलब छह से आठ घंटे मैं तो घर में मिलेट्स बनाती हूँ तो ओवर नाइट सोक करती हूँ बिकॉज उसका फाइबर कंटेंट इतना हाई है जब हम सोक करते हैं तो फाइटिक एसिड जो है वो कम हो जाता है so these are a few tips thank you samana so even uh, while making jowar ki roti you have to uh, i mean uh, put it overnight uh, soak it or something the नहीं जवा नहीं जो आटा है उसको नहीं करना है बट आटा जब गूंथते हैं तो उसको गरम पानी में गूंथिए गरम पानी आटा okay. मतलब जो आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ जो ग्रेन्स हैं सी देयर आर मेजर एंड माइनर मिलेट्स जो ग्रेन्स हैं उनकी सोकिंग के लिए बोल रही हूं <laughs> थैंक यू सो मच मैम और जब आपको नेक्स्ट सेशन और मिलेट्स के बारे में आई लव टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दैट थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू कर्नल साहब वंस अगेन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू pradeep ji would you like to introduce yourself in this platform we are at the yes, uh, you know as you know my name is pradeep malhotra yes. and uh, uh, i am a founder director of pradeepam foundation okay. uh, basically which is focused on uh, uh, facilitating and training programs particularly from the students from humble background and also have my corporate training programs as well on developing entrepreneurial mindset and leadership skills and also you know like uh, employability skills for the youth okay. so mera focus is wahan par hai or i in fact there was a time when uh, istd used to be there in kutub in kleva used to uh, take many sessions there at that time i was mm-hmm. one of the visiting faculty there as well long okay. time okay So Baba Ji, take his take his no name as a note. Actually, we would like to hear him sometimes. Yeah, I am and I am based in Noida. So. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> yeah, we would Noted. like to hear you, Pradeep Ji. We will not leave you so easily. No, no, no. Any time, any time, man. Any time. Okay, give your expert the topics, and then we will be he will be in touch of you. Thank you for for joining us today, Pradeep Ji. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. Thank you. Should I call Deepa, Doctor Deepa, to give vote of thanks? I think the brigadier, brigadier Chandra has the brigadier Chandra has left. Yeah, give him opportunity. Brigadier Chandra was there. Hmm. I think he left. See you, Doctor Deepa. Hey, he's there, Brigadier Ramesh Chandra ji. Let us give give him. Uh, we have been waiting to Dr. see Deepa, you. Doctor Deepa, please wait wait for two. Doctor Ramila, see Dr. you Dr. see you on video. Brigadier Chandra, are you there? I think he is. Uh, Doctor Pramila is there. Doctor Pramila. Doctor Pramila, you can unmute yourself and speak. Unmute, madam. आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है. बीच में आई थी आपकी बेटी को बुला लीजिए फिर से. वो unmute कर देगी की थी ना? थी ना. Children are for that only. This <laughs> one. It's always the big hassle. Yeah. No problem. This is all technology provides uh, give some handicap sometimes. Yeah. Because it, it's not very easy to understand and comprehend. Madam, unmute. अच्छा ये चले ले तो नहीं बात आता है. Mind to हाँ, mind to feel की है. नहीं अगली बार नेक्स्ट टाइम डॉक्टर दीपा गुप्ता प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच विंग कमांडर वर्मा जी फॉर आस्किंग मी टू प्रपोज द वोट ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर टुडे सेशन एंड ग्रेटिट्यूड इज द बेस्ट एटीट्यूड इन लाइफ एज सुनीत मैम हैज सेड and it has been our pleasure as a istd noida chapter to host this monthly talk with the experts like kanal gulati ji senior professor of eminence ms sunit kaur ji lifestyle management expert uh, for their highly informative deliberation topics which they have covered like lifestyle modifications and seven habits of highly effective people and we all can witness that you know it was so engaging and entertaining for all the audiences and they learn a lot in from today's session there was a time when we were talking about four quotients like intelligent quotient emotional quotient adversity quotient and social quotient then time came when we started talking about digital quotient creativity quotient and ethical quotient but today today the most important quotient there you know everybody is focusing the whole world is focusing upon that is the happiness quotient and the most important thing is the wellness quotient if we human will start focusing more on wellness 
with the help of right kind of habit and right kind of you know habit in terms of our sleeping our lifestyle our reading habits our you know food habit in each and every dimension and the uh, vertical in our life then surely we can achieve the target and the objective of our wellness and thank you so much both of you i mean your inputs were seriously it was like you know gagar me sagar kind of inputs you people have given and we thoroughly enjoyed your session mm -hmm. uh, gulati sir and sunit kaur ma'am thank you so much and i'm also thankful and very much thankful to the chairperson iftd noida chapter ms seema sena ji and esteemed members of iftd noida chapter for sparing their valuable time and join all of us in this engaging and very informative session i'm also thankful to all the students and faculty from gl bajaj institute of management for participating in this learning experience thank you so much everyone thank you thank you for joining bye bye madam anything you want to see you thanks thank you everyone thank you everyone thank you so much kanal gulati and suni very nice to have you on this platform hope we see you again again on this platform thank you so much everyone